Korean R, I have said quite a few times, your tongue tip should touch the back of your upper teeth once, yes? To pronounce Korean R, what you do is just assuming that these fingers are your upper teeth and the another one would be your tongue tip. Uh, what you do is you touch the back of your upper teeth just once with your tongue tip. So that would be ra, ra, ra. If it is horizontal vowel, then the syllable initial consonant will be written on top of it. Okay? And if it is a mixed vowel, then the syllable initial consonant will be top left corner. So basically, you write down the consonant first, and then the vowel, and then the syllable final consonant. Quenchanayo. 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 Quintanayo. T-shirt to T셔츠 있어요? 티셔츠 어디에요? 네, 있어요. 모두 12,000원씩이에요. What we are going to do is that um, you guys will ask questions of the guests and you find some information about them. So what we do is that um, after 10 minutes we're going to change our guests so that we can ask the same question to different people. Uh, what we gain is that more fluency and more confidence. So I haven't had food till now. So do you need me to repeat? Ajik. Do you know? Do you guys have you guys learned what's ajik? So ajik is until now. So like now, like until now. So ajik. Six hours. One of the questions that they asked was um, how, how do you say, what do you usually do at this time? Again? Try to translate this time in literal form. 
Mm, Qigong is now, like if you live to literal trans like translate it, what about this time? What is this? Yi Tan? Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. So, yi shi gan ne, putong bo he yo. But most importantly, we had two guests who were like us just a couple of years ago. And anyone who is interested in going to Korea, you can talk to James and do networking with him. He should know many, many places where you can enjoy soju. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? 